We're going to do delta, capital delta, Greek delta, which means the uncertainty in a measured value of any physical quantity. And so, for example, I might measure the size of this square and I take a, a ruler across here and say it's five millimetres or half men, no, that's more like five centimetres, plus or minus an error. And the error gives you an uncertainty in the measurement. What I've got here is an experiment that we do in the first year in which little steel ball bearings roll down a slope and are collected in in channels which are notionally equal width, so this is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then this should fall in the central one, but because of this being rough, it's going to jigger about a little bit, so I'll push it through the hole, and as you see it comes down the slope, it meanders to one side or the other. So I'll do several of these, and you'll see, oh, they're all going to go in the same one, not quite, and it seems as though by magic they're all coming down there and I haven't levelled it off. But if I run lots of these, you'll see that after a while, some of them will go to the left, some of them will go to the right, and you'll build up a distribution. All right, so there are some going to the right, some going to the left, and when you've done enough of these, you can see that on the average, it's somewhere between six and seven is the peak, and a range from somewhere, say, at six and a half, down to four and up to nine, most of the particles are in that region. Unfortunately, you can't reduce the errors completely. I'm imagining that this is a proton, an elementary particle which is really very small in size, and I'm asking the question, can I measure the position of this particle as accurately as possible? So what I would have to do if I were to take a proton shoved in the nucleus and measure its position, I would have to get something like a microscope to see it magnify it up to a larger and larger scale so that I can actually see where it is. And what happens is that I have a wave coming in, a light wave, jiggling along and it scatters off this particle, comes up through the lens, goes through a whole thing into my eyepiece and I can look down in there and see where the particle is from the light that was scattered off it. And from that image you can determine the position of the particle. Later on, but you can determine it. But there is something called the resolving power of this apparatus, which says, in effect, apart from a geometrical factor, you can only measure this position to within a wavelength of this wave coming in. If this is a wavelength coming in like this, and there's a wavelength of that sort of size, then I won't be able to measure this position to an accuracy of plus or minus that amount. So I'll try and make the wavelength shorter and shorter and shorter, tinier and tinier and tinier, so I can specify that position more precisely. And I imagine I can do this again and again and again and get this position as accurately as you would wish. Except that light is not just a wave. It has a particle aspect to it. It is one of these strange objects that physicists talk about, which is a particle which is a wave. So this particle of light comes in, and it has an energy associated and a momentum which is inversely proportional to the wavelength. So as I'm making this wavelength smaller and smaller and smaller, its momentum is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So instead of a little feather duster coming in, just tickling this thing and coming up here, I imagine this is a big wrecking ball smashing into it as the wavelength gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So as soon as I've measured it and this photon, has, this particle of light has hit this, that's disappeared somewhere else, and the light I see up here corresponds to a particle which is no longer there. It's moved off. It's got a huge uncertainty uh, error in its, well, change in its momentum. So the more I try to precisely determine where this is at an instant, as soon as I've done that, in the immediate aftermath of that particle coming off, its momentum is completely uncertain. I don't know which direction it's scattered off. This was first enunciated by Heisenberg, so it's known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And this idea of using a microscope is Heisenberg's microscope. And it's the idea that he came up with way, way back in 1927. After he'd invented the mathematics that makes all this clear, people said that's obviously nonsense, and he kept coming up with illustrations, and people tried to disprove his ideas. But nobody found a way around this.